Once upon a time, there was a wise and prosperous king who ruled over a kingdom where his subjects lived happily. Money and grain were abundant, and all was well. However, one year, a severe famine struck the land. Crops dried up, and the farmers couldn't pay their taxes. The kingdom's revenue decreased, and the treasury started to empty. The king became deeply worried, constantly consumed by thoughts of how he would provide for his subjects and manage the expenses of the kingdom. Even after the famine had passed and the situation returned to normal, his worries persisted. He fretted endlessly, fearing another famine and the challenges it would bring. His mind was plagued by concerns such as neighboring states, ministerial conspiracies, and countless other troubles. Hunger, thirst, and sleepless nights became his companions, tormenting him. One day, a wise monk visited the king's court. The king confided in the monk, sharing his troubles and seeking advice. The monk calmly said, your worries stem from this kingdom. To find peace, you must relinquish its burden. Perhaps you could give the kingdom to your son. The king responded, but my son is merely five years old. Undeterred, the monk suggested, then you could hand over the kingdom to me. I shall shoulder your burdens and worries. Without hesitation, the king agreed and bestowed his kingdom upon the monk. Now free from the responsibilities of rulership, the king pondered his future. The monk posed a question, what will you do now? How will you earn a living? The king contemplated and replied, perhaps I shall engage in business. But how will you arrange the necessary funds? As the kingdom now belongs to me, the treasury is under my control. You cannot access it, the monk explained. In that case, I shall seek employment, the king responded. Very well. However, if you must work, there is no need to look elsewhere. You can find a job here, the monk suggested. Curiosity peaked, the king inquired, what do you mean? With a gentle smile, the monk revealed, I am a monk and I shall remain in my humble abode. You, on the other hand, shall manage the kingdom on my behalf, working as its caretaker. The king embraced the monk's proposal and took on the role of managing the kingdom as part of his duty. The monk retreated to his humble dwelling. Days passed, and the monk returned to the palace. He met the king and asked, Do you still feel hungry? Are you able to sleep well? The king replied, amazed, now. I eat heartily, and my sleep is sound. Before, I performed the same tasks, yet I couldn't eat or sleep peacefully. How has this transformation come about? It surpasses my understanding. With a knowing smile, the monk imparted his wisdom. Previously, you regarded your work as a burden, carrying its weight upon your mind. However, by relinquishing the kingdom's burden and embracing your duty, you have found freedom from worry. In realization, the king learned a profound lesson. Whatever work you undertake in life, approach it as your duty, not as a burden. By doing so, you can free yourself from the shackles of worry. And so, my dear viewers, as you navigate the challenges of life, remember the tale of the king and the monk. Embrace your responsibilities with a sense of duty and find solace in the liberation from worry. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey through the tale of the king and the monk. Until we meet again, take care and may your days be filled with purpose and tranquility. Goodbye.